guys, I'm Comic Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today, we are talking about eyewear, specifically for fur suits. I know, I know, you probably can get something from Party City or somewhere like that, but let's face it, they're all pretty generic. And you want your fur suit to have a little style. So I went out and found a website dedicated to making eyewear for your fur suit. I reached out and they agreed to give me an interview. Please welcome Rock Gazelle. Uh, fursuitglasses.com Hello. Alright, many of us are wondering, why did you decide on eyewear for a fursuit? So, like you are mentioning, on the, like before I became around, the only thing on the market really was, like those Party City glasses, they kind of cheaper, you know, again from Party City, and a lot of people complain about them, you know, breaking super, super easily. And my girlfriend makes fursuits, and I think it started as a, you know, hey, I could really use glasses or something like that, you know? And I realized that, wow, there's actually a hole in the market, no one's really doing this as, as a dedicated product like people do sell them on the side is like they'll do like an etsy or of a main business and they'll sell them on the side but no one really did it like full dedicated glasses and i realized oh there's a hole in the market this is something i can definitely it's something i can definitely capitalize on and really make a cool product that i think people will enjoy fascinating you saw a need in the market and reached out to fill that hole is that why you decided to start your business on this matter Mm hmm Yeah, it was just a hole in the market and no one else is really doing it besides, like I was saying, he will do it on the side as like a business on the side, but I really saw it as an opportunity where fursuits, you know, fursuits are people's personalities. It's things that make them, you know, it's their character and a lot of their characters have glasses. So, you know, when people are limiting it to the party city glasses or, you know, some, you know, side business, I've realized, you know, hey, that's may not, I'm not saying it's not good enough, but, you know, it's kind of a thing where, you know, I really could make a great product that would really bring out the characters for these suits. Right, and just like every single suit should be different from design to personality presented, you have a wide range of products to represent these characteristics. Uh, what are some examples of different products you would have style-wise? Oh yeah, I mean, on the website I have plenty of pairs of glasses. I have everything from, you know, the standard ones which are called nerdy they're kind of like the standard you know what you typically think of like a square glasses i have very short ones i have ones that look like classic glasses i even have stuff like a deal with their uh, the old deal with it meme like those glasses which is actually laser cut out of acrylic and has like a nice finish and everything on it so i do everything from you know the plain generic glasses to the crazy you know glasses that you really would not to typically see on people because you know these are giant furry creatures so they should you know some people don't want the standard glasses precisely how did your products evolve over time oh yeah they they've definitely evolved over time i you know i started 3d printing because of this business you know i didn't really do 3D printing before, so I kind of had to learn how to do 3D printing and bring that to, you know, and make that into a process that's repeatable and I can, you know, make a profit on. So, you know, at first, it, it, the first products I made weren't bad, but it was definitely a thing of the printing quality compared to today is completely different. You know, they worked back then, but oh my god, they were not good print quality back then. <laughs> oh, they've definitely evolved as far as print quality, basic evolutions. Obviously, I've made new designs. I've you know, kind of got a workflow of how I make different designs. And I, you know, I've, di I've experimented with different magnets. I've played around, you know, I, have small I found a source for smaller magnets now so I can make the lenses and the uh, frames even thinner. You know, stuff like that. It's just a matter of trying, you know, trying different things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work and just kind of going from there. Very interesting. What is your design process? So my design process, I mean, as far as um, design glasses, I obviously look for, you know, real world references. It's a lot easier to reference something that's in the real world. Mm -hmm. And the main thing I always have to keep in mind, I always have to keep in mind is I have to work around the mechanism that holds the lenses on. And there's just either a number eight um, washer or a tiny magnet which have you know I can't make it super thin or else it won't fit inside the frame so I always have to kind of work around that and try and figure out how I can make a design that works alongside those parameters and then I just kind of you know I usually go through probably like four iterations of just either you know designing or printing sometimes I'll get to the print stage and realize I completely forgot something that needs to be redone and so it usually takes about yeah, three or four iterations before I get to a final product. Fascinating. Where do you get your ideas outside of real-world examples? It's interesting. So, I mean, obviously the real world is, you know, my main 
point of reference, but I'm also always looking around social media trying to see what the, you know, recent trends are. The deal with the glasses were, you know, an old meme from like 2011. I know a lot of people have nostalgia for, you know, those old kind of meme, old kind of memes and stuff. So, you know, I, you know, obviously deal with the glasses came from there. Um, even stuff like Bampton from the new Deltarune release. I decided to um, make a special category of lenses that were pink and yellow for Spamton. So along with the real world, I get a lot of ideas from just internet culture and a lot of those, a lot of stuff that's you know trending on social media, you know, in current day. I get you on that. We have to find the way to ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always switching, it's never consistent. <laughs> you never know what's next. On average, what would be the prices of your products? So my products range from a variety of prices. Base price is just the frame, so just the 3D printed glasses are $25. Mm -hmm. And then as you get more lenses on them, they go up in price. I think it goes 25, 32, 40, five. I don't even know my own prices, but what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the pair of glasses, but you know, they go up in price as you get more lenses, and it's a bundle deal when you initially buy. So, if you buy a pair of glasses with lenses, it's only 32 whereas if you buy frames and then later buy lenses, it's more expensive. I see. Now, we know fur suiters are pretty creative with their design, and some of them might have crazy designs for their eyewear. Assuming that you were open for a custom, how long do you think it would take you from start to finish. So the design process of taking glasses from idea to um, final commission, obviously, you know, it all depends on exactly what the commissioner is looking for. Sometimes, like I've had commissions in the past where they just want a, you know, they just want it to be fit to their fursuit size. So some fursuits are huge, some fursuits are very tiny. You know, so I've done custom commissions in the past where they just want the glasses scaled to their fursuit, or like a custom color, which doesn't take too long. You know, it's, it, I still have to, you know, do all the design stuff. But I have, since I have a base design, it doesn't take nearly as long. Whereas some glasses, I actually take a lot longer because sometimes I have to develop a whole new technique for making the glasses. Like, for example, I had one commission where they wanted, like, a 90s vaporwave kind of glasses, where it was, like, all acrylic. There was no, like, no 3D printed parts. It was all, like, the whole thing was acrylic. And I've never done a sound like that before, so I had to, you know, look into getting, like, plastic hinges. How do I attach the plastic hinges? How do I attach the elastic to it? How do I, you know, so, you know, stuff like that will take a lot longer. So it really does depend on exactly what the commissioner is looking for. But, you know, if it's just a standard, you know, oh, you want it to look like your glasses, eh, I can usually do it with under a week, usually, if I'm not too busy. All right, right. On average, how long does it take from order to shipping? Typically, it does not take too long for me to ship the products. It obviously all depends on what I have in stock. So usually I'll have a, especially um, black glasses, those are the ones that sell the most the black color glasses. So I'll have the, you know, a huge stock of black glasses, you know, pre-made, ready to go, as well as the lenses. So in the bundle deal I was talking about, I usually sell the lenses as clear, amber, and shaded. So those ones are always basically pre-cut, ready to go. So if the glasses order is a pretty standard, you know, oh, you just bought, um, you know, black nerdy with clear lenses, I can usually get those done within a day, you know, especially if you order early in the morning, I'll probably get out the same day. As opposed to ones that are more complicated, so if you want, you know, um, like you want pink star glasses with yellow uh, lenses, then I'll have to go and laser cut the lenses, I have to 3D print the glasses, I have to put the magnets in the glasses, I have to assemble the arms, I have to put, you know, they're so... It depends on what you order. So if you order like a standard pair of glasses, it only takes about a day. Whereas if you order something a little more complex, it might take like, you know, two or three days. And I usually, I usually get every order out within a week. Very important question now. Where can the audience find you? You can find me on uh, my personal Twitter and Instagram is Rock Gazelle. That's R-O-C Gazelle. But if you want to find my business, it's fursuitglasses.com. All one word, obviously. You can find my website if you want to purchase a pair of glasses or get a custom commission. And all my ads and handles are fursuitglasses, one word, on Instagram and Twitter. Or if you just want to go to the website from this video, a link to it will be in the description below. Hashtag not sponsored yet. Yet. <laughs> And the link to the artist of this lovely piece that's been showing up throughout the video will also be in the description below. And if you want to 
Thank you for the honor. Um, oh yeah, I think it was awesome that you had me on for an interview. I've never done an interview before, so it was really cool talking to you. And yeah, if you guys are interested in a pair of glasses, you can obviously find them at the link below. And or if you want to follow me and see kind of updates. Yeah, it was great talking to you. Thank you for being on once again. And as for you guys, if you want to see my last interview I did, that'll be pinned in the cards above and description below. Or if you just want to see my last video, that'll be pinned in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know of different furry companies you like me to interview in the comments. Or you can just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like, maybe a comment, share this with friends, family, other very friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!